What if I told you that I could help you improve your freehand flower drawing and drawing in general in just five short lessons? Believe it or not, it's true. I've had literally thousands of students take my free flower drawing mini course over the past several years, and I'm revamping it with even better descriptions, a little bit more detail on the homework, and improved lessons now based on feedback and other lessons that I've shared with my students over the years. The students who've taken this course in the past have ranged from all the way down to third graders and up to 90 year olds. And the amazing thing is that they've all had a similar response to these five lessons. They've both grown in their artistic abilities and they've grown in their confidence. And honestly, the confidence is almost the most exciting to me, but what good is confidence if you're not actually getting any better, right? So I am excited to invite you to take this journey along with me. And I'm super excited to share with you the very first lesson of my free flower drawing mini course today. All right, lesson one is all about warming up. Now I can already feel you guys glazing over and checking out on me. Stick with me just a couple more minutes. It's a short video, stay with me till the end of the video, and I know that you'll see what I'm talking about. I think I can win you over, so let's try it. Warming up is just as important with drawing as it is for an athlete. The muscles are just a little bit smaller. Just like an athlete, like my husband is a runner and he coaches other runners, just like he is often reminding them, you need to warm up or you're going to get hurt. You need to warm up or it's going to be uncomfortable. Well, I don't think you're necessarily gonna get a drawing injury. <laughs> it is still really important to warm up. Professional artists do this every single day. And I found with myself that when I'm tempted to put off warming up or just jump in, I'm like, I don't have time for this. I really need to get going. I just need to start working and it'll be fine. Sure, it's okay, but I can definitely tell the difference. Not only does my work take a lot longer if I don't warm up, it's usually much more stiff and uncomfortable. It doesn't seem to flow as well from my hands and there's just a lot more erasing and starting over, sometimes with a brand new piece of paper. And honestly, it's very frustrating. So stick with me and make sure we're warming up those fine motor skills and those muscles. Especially now we're in an age where we're always texting or typing when we're communicating with people. Even there are times when my handwriting feels uncomfortable. If I'm writing out my to-do list for the day, I'm like, who wrote that? Or it just feels funny coming off of my hand, especially if I'm writing a lot of notes down. Same thing is true for drawing. Those fine motor skills, that control that you can see an artist has when they draw, you know, like a large reaching shape, that comes through practice and often through warming up. So it's probably not the first line that they've drawn in order to create it nice and smooth and beautiful. Um, certainly if they've been a professional illustrator, they've been drawing for a long time. Um, it's certainly not the first time, but even for that morning, it's probably not the first stroke that they've created. Now, don't worry, I'm not gonna just send you off and tell you to go and draw something. I do have a worksheet that's linked down below that you can work off of. It just has some general exercises, some of which are like long and reaching lines that I want you to complete before the next lesson. As soon as you've completed those exercises, I want you to use the second half of that paper to draw a flower. It can be any flower you want. There's not like a special formula or a special type of flower that guarantees success. All we wanna do is now that we've warmed up a little bit with just some more irregular strokes, we want to warm up with the subject that we're actually gonna be studying throughout this mini course. So again, it can be any flower you want. It can be your favorite flower. It can be your mom's favorite flower. It can be the flower that you saw on your walk today. I just want you to warm up with a flower that you like and just enjoy the process. We're also going to be using this, setting this aside as kind of a gauge. I want you to see, okay, this is where I started and this is where I ended up. It's gonna be a lot of fun, especially after you get that hand warmed up and it doesn't feel as uncomfortable anymore. I'm super excited to get started on the next lesson. So as soon as you are done with your homework, you need to do your warm up. trust me, trust me. I want you to go down and take lesson two. You'll find a link below. You'll find the sign up for the next video in this series. Uh, that will start right away. And then the lessons after that will be emailed to you within 24 hours. So we have 24 hours to kind of rest and meditate on what you're learning each day. So I'm really excited for you to get started. Print off that warm up, finish the exercises and that drawing, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Happy drawing.